In this video, we're gonna go over the four things that you need to worry about when it comes to gaining muscle as a female or a male, but specifically in this video for females. Don't know about trans, we don't know where they sit. Where do they sit? Do they sit down on the toilet or stand up? If they're pre-op, what would they do? <laughs> what would they do? I mean, most some blokes like sitting down, don't they? It's a little treat. Yeah, some do. <laughs> but what do they do? I bet they sit down. It's just gone a bit silly, hasn't it? Already, yeah. <laughs> so we are Dan and Mike from Biceps and Banter, and we make videos all about training, nutrition, eating food, stupid food challenges, day in the lives, day in the lives, spoof videos, and generally Shit. just trying to have a bit of fun. So if that sounds like something you want, make sure you hit subscribe. Anyway, let's get on with this one. Eat adequate protein. Yeah, quite a lot of women just do not eat enough protein. What is adequate protein? Adequate protein is two grams per kilo of body weight. So- At a minimum. At a minimum. So for an average female, say 60 kilos, that would be- 120. 120 grams. I was falling, yeah, I didn't eat my fingers. Um, at least as well, that would be. So I take that as a ballpark figure. Go higher than that if you, if you feel like you can do or you want to. Remember as well that protein is quite satiating, so it will keep you feeling quite full. So there's also a reason why you wouldn't go too ridiculously high yeah. with protein because you will need space for carbohydrate in your diet so that you can train hard. No, carbs make you fat. They do not make you fat at all, whatsoever. Protein makes you bulky though. I don't, no. want, to, don't want to be bulky as a female. No, protein does not make you bulky at all. Do not worry about that. Common Eating myth. cake. Very, very bulky. common myth. Eating cupcakes with your, with your girlfriends, that's what makes you bulky. So don't do that. Stereotypical. Or sexist. So, sexist. Yeah. That's what we're all about on the channel. Yeah, it's alright. They won't be watching them in the kitchen. Now we're in the kitchen, funny enough. Um, no women in here though, unfortunately. No. Well, it's my flat, so of course, of course not. <laughs> no, be daft. Point number two, Quick. training intensity. You need to make sure that you're lifting as heavy as possible. A lot of women are very, very scared of lifting heavy because they think as well it'll make them bulky. bulky. Um, and that they think they need to do high reps. And the reality is that for females, you've got about a tenth of the testosterone of a man, basically. That's what makes you female. Yeah. You don't have testosterone. That and your vagina. Depends if you're trans or not. Again, go back to that topic. But what have they got? Whatever they want, literally. Whatever Down, they want, they can choose. Downstairs mix-up. You need to be making sure that you're pushing your body just as hard as anyone else would. So train between the rep range of 8 to 12 for the most part of your training. Maybe go a little bit heavier on some lifts. Yeah, Maybe go a little bit lighter on some other lifts. But for the bulk of your training, 8 to 12, don't feel that as a female that you have to train 20 reps, 25 reps, 30 reps because you want to tone the muscle. Point mm. three. Point number three, three is make sure what, Mike? Eat to a calorie surplus. So eating a calorie surplus. So a lot of the time with females is that they focus too much on dieting and they worry about eating too much food. The reality is that a lot of females just don't eat enough calories to gain muscle tissue. There I'd be stereotypical again, but it comes from the diet culture of a female that they yeah. typically, when they are on it, they want to diet, right? Yeah. So they get used to that dieting process and then when they're off it, then that's when they are a little bit more lax with their food. And because they're females, that their uh, TDE or their the amount of uh, calories needed for maintenance is smaller than a male and that's when you can get a little bit more out of shape whereas if you do that in a calculated manner so don't think that as a female you can do the two things at the same time get leaner and build muscle there might be a small chance that you can but you're still the same as a male so you still need to provide your body that excess of nutrients yep. to grow optimally so don't be scared of it because you can always take that weight back off a lot of females when they do get given a license to eat a bit more food like when we coach our clients and they're female and that they go through a muscle gain phase and they have those extra calories they realize they've never had them they've never trained yeah. with them before so they don't see how far they can push their bodies and that is when you see the massive change in your yeah. physique because females often just diet and diet and diet. They never really change their shape. They just get leaner or skinnier. Skinny. And then they wonder why that they've not maybe got toned legs or toned abs and all yeah. that sort of stuff. And the reality is you haven't spent long enough building that muscle tissue and training that intensity because you haven't had the calories needed in order to do that. And as a byproduct of that, you can find yourself getting leaner as a female doing that. Yeah. So whilst you shouldn't be intending to do that by setting yourself up in a big deficit and then trying to gain, as a byproduct of having that surplus, you might train harder and you might be more consistent with your diet because you're yep. not overeating on the weekend and your neat may be higher, so you yep. might actually get leaner. Point number four. So eat in a calorie surplus for long enough. Don't be yep. scared, don't bottle it, and then just start to diet again after five or six weeks because you feel as though you're getting a little bit too chubby. Yep. Because you're probably not. If you've done it correctly, if you've been consistent with the amount of surplus we suggested earlier, yep. you won't get too chubby too quickly like that. You have to be consistent. You have to eat for long enough, so we're talking maybe what? 12 months would yeah. be, a, you would see a significant change in your shape over 12 months. 
And in that time, you might have a little mini cut. You might want to just yeah. have a little diet. But you have to give yourself long enough Definitely. in that calorie surplus to build muscle. Because if you're constantly in a calorie deficit, you're not going to be able to build muscle tissue optimally. Five, six weeks isn't long enough. Eight no. weeks, not long enough. It's no. just not long enough. How much muscle mass can you develop in that time as a male, let alone a female, where your capacity is slightly lower? Because you've got less testosterone. Yeah. So give yourself enough time. Give Don't yourself forget. enough time. So if you enjoyed that video, go share it with a friend or share it with someone who needs to hear this video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back very, very soon with another video.